Well, welcome back to part two of the uh, Mini CX Res build. Uh, so the next thing I've decided to do, I'm going to do the tail surfaces. So we're going to need this sheet of material. And uh, in the build pictures, um, it's basically show you a, a knife pointing at various bits you need to cut out. Now I have just numbered them to make it easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them all out get them ready to put together but then what I will do is I thought it'd be a good idea if I show you this after I've removed it it'll make sure that you've got the right bits okay so I've cut out the primary bits for the fin so if you look at that that's what you're going to need um, so what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to show you overhead and then put the the primary structure together Okay, so we've got the primary structure. Uh, so the idea is, is that this is going to glue to here. This will go to here. Now, just remember that when you're gluing this, just note the way you've got this curve here, because it could be easy to get it around the wrong way. But what you'll find is they just, it just won't lock together. So you've got that. And then this then slides into there. That drops onto there like so. And then this chap so that's your primary structure for the first uh, part of the fin I am now just going to glue all this together I'm again not using super glue um, I would recommend a PVA or I'm just going to use this super fatic but I'm just going to glue these in place first so basic fin is now pinned down I've it, it, all I did was I actually glued all the bits and then just sl slotted it all together and I've just used these pins not in the structure just around the outside and you'll notice I've just used a ruler across the bottom just to make sure that this is all nice and square and this will actually help you um, to actually form that rudder and keeps it all in place right I've got the basic um, fin put together and the interspatial formers I suppose they're called we're going to need these these are for the uh, elevator and the horizontal stabilizer this is what we're looking for these are the first three that you're going to need and they are going to fit into here like so just make sure that you get your angles right and if for any reason they're not fitting or there's a little bit of uh, intolerance with it which I very much doubt but if you pop them in there like that although look they're actually just dropping in um, if you do find there's a little bit of resistance well, in fact that they've all dropped in but if you did need a little bit of resistance with any of them you could always use a little nail file Okay, so we're now going to infill this side, and the first one we're going to need is this one, which we pop out like so. If you're not sure, just stop and check the angles. I've got to say, they are fitting in very well. So that's the first one. So the next one is this here. Now, a little bit of a tip here. Can you see there's a little bit of curve on these so what's going to happen is that's going to pop in there like so and the curve matches up with the abutment so the next one is going to be this one here uh, pops out like so and if you get the rounded bit there and pop that in there like so There you go, that's the next bit. And then what's happening is, is they slowly get smaller, we'll slowly work the way up.
So my advice is dry fit everything first so that you're happy. And I've got to say that given the way they've gone in, if you find any resistance whatsoever, you do not force it because they have all just dropped in. So I'm now going to just take them out one at a time, re-glue them back in, and that's actually the fin finished. Okay, so um, this is doing the tail plane, and I've cut these out like so. Now, um, just remember, this little cutout notch goes at the bottom. So the idea is, is that that fits in there like so. Um, I, I'm not going to glue mine first. What I'm going to do, as before, I'm going to dry fit everything together like that, like so. And then the idea is that these drop onto here like this. And then that then drops onto there like so. So you can see it's quite fiddly and we need to get it in place but this is how it should look so that's a rough idea of how it's going to glue together like so the crucial thing to remember is that um, the notch has to be at the bottom. So that's the next thing is, I'm just gonna stick these all together. Okay, so the next three things you are going to need is this little center section here. Um, that obviously matches up with that slot there. And then the idea is that these then go into here and locking like so. So that's what I'm going to do next, is I'm just going to glue these all up and get these into position. Right, so the final bit of the tailplane, I think this is fairly explanatory. Um, if you look at these here, we've got the largest one there, obviously fits here, and then they slowly work down in size. And then on the um, elevator bit, you've got these which actually work across. So I've cut out the six triangles, and obviously it's fairly obvious, uh, larger, smaller working down. Now, little tip there, can you notice that these, particularly it's on this one, you can see there's a slight angle there. And that gives you the correct orientation for getting that in place. So we're going to pop all of these in. And then the next thing is we'll work into infilling these. So it's these six first, like so. So the final assembly is that um, if you look at this set here, you've got a smaller of the two longer ones. Goes to the tip. The longer of the two longer ones, this one here, goes in the centre section and then the larger of the two A's pops in there like so. So I'm just going to drop those all in, that then is the tailplane nearly finished. So one very final last thing we have to do, we have to remove these three. And these are going to be glued together, like so. And then the idea is when they're glued together, if you remember right at the start, we did this. So the idea is, is that is going to be glued to this. So what I intend to do is to make sure that it's all lined up. I'm going to run these two bolts into here to get it all lined up. I'm going to use my PVA glue again. So I am just going to literally put those three on there like so. I'll line it all up with the bolts, put a little clamp in and then leave undo the screws and leave it to clamp up. 
Okay. Tail surface is done. Um, one thing I might do, and I'm, I'm just going to wait until it's fully dried, I might be tempted um, just to add a little bit of cyano interstitially in these joints. But I'm just going to see how it, how it, when it's come, um, when it's sort of fully dry, uh, leave it overnight. So the next step is the uh, wings and that will be the um, next video I shall be doing is to building the wings. If you like these build threads please like, please subscribe and uh, I'll get back to you very shortly.